Hey, um, thanks for watching this video. Um, so this video is just gonna be a summary of three points that I learned from the latest uh, Capital DC business results. Okay, so first thing, uh, if you have not watched uh, the previous video where I was talking about uh, the 10.37 cents that I'm not estimating whether or predicting whether if Capital DC can give me 10.37 cents for FY22, uh, you might want to watch the video. Um, so my name is Min An, uh, I'm a rich investor who uses REITs to build my parents' retirement portfolio. So let's head straight to the three points. So first point, definitely, um, I want to make one uh, disclaimer, right, about this uh, recent Guangdong DC's acquisitions uh, that I may have made in my previous video. It's definitely this part where the revenue recognition for Guangdong DC3, I wrote it down here, September uh, 2 2, right? Uh, so I want to make a correction, right? Because uh, the Guangdong DC3, right, it states that uh, if you can see down here, the expected acquisition completion date is the third quarter of 2023, right? So let this sink in for like one or two seconds. Okay, one, two. Okay. So this is the first point I wanted to make yeah, in this video. So the second point is, uh, if you have watched the 10.37 cents uh, video uh, that I've made previously, uh, so whatever I'm documenting right now, I'm just looking at uh, the business results to let me know or be even more confident whether Capital DC can give me 10.37 cents for FY22 dividend. So. Uh, since the latest acquisitions were done uh, were of this uh, Guangdong DC2 and DC3 so you can see at this slide uh, you can see that there's this DPU accretion 2.7 so there is no abbreviations like uh, what we see like a small one or a small two at the top right corner thus uh, that was when, uh, when I attended uh, the earnings call or the so called the webcast done by uh, Capital DC uh, read management that was where oh the baseline was actually or perhaps the numbers were completed based off the FY21 dividend which was 9.851 cents it has second point it's here which I'm circling in yellow right now okay that's the second point so that will probably amount to around 0 0.266 cents right so uh, with this in mind i'm like mm, okay can i can continue to update the update my my charts and in fact the third thing is um, this thing called the plot ratio okay so uh, i do have a uh, cict and something in my portfolio because they are they are of a commercial nature um the way that i foresee commercial reads either growing the revenue is either you increase the price per square feet or we increase the amount of net letable area. So the amount of net letable area as of now in Singapore uh, is determined by this thing called plot ratio. So when I ask and clarify with my capital DC management, uh, in fact they give some other things, but after that entire answer, right, it really struck me to say, hey, I want to look at this particular table. Uh, these two, two ta uh, these two tables or portfolio overview, you can see that. When we zoom in, uh, we we'll just zoom in to the number of clients. So you, you see 24, So what's the point? What I learned is that, in fact, the concept of plot ratios uh, don't, may not apply to capital DC or maybe data center rates, but I cannot generalize if you have other reads or data center reads in your portfolio, uh, please always go and uh, check with your management, clarify with them. But as of now, for Kappa DC, right, uh, the plot ratio don't really matter because most of the time, there's only one tenant inside the entire building, right? So unlike what we know either in shopping uh, mall reads or commercial reads that the more let letable area that I have, which is uh, so-called like determined by the plot ratio, 
the more shops or the more tenants I can put into one commercial building but it seems like it is not the same case for DC rates okay? instead uh, the management brought up other points like power supply reliability the latency of the internet the political stability seismic risk so after they said that that was when I, I learned about my capital DC read even better to think note that hey actually that's how the number of clients uh, in one data center uh, would mean or that's how I will interpret so that's what I wanted to do in this uh, video so definitely one uh, is this start in September 2022 that's the first point I wanted to bring across in this video uh, the second one is uh, the 2.7 percent DPU accretion what is it based off it's actually based off the dividend for last financial year and the third point would be the plot ratio uh, it is not the major determinant but in fact uh, there are other determinants of how uh, um, the DC read behaves so that's what I wanted to do in this video just comment the biggest takeaway in the comments below I'll be reading them and I'll see you in the next update for Capital DC see you